Hello everybody, Code Theorem here, and I'm about to show you how to put how to sign up um for Raid Theorem. Alright, so Raid Theorem, just a quick heads up, is a new um product I'm making for Roblox. It's a product to help groups with their raiding systems. Um if you've been in a military group before you'd know what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna go into too many details. I do have a video for uh just discussing what Raid Theorem is about. This video is how to sign up for it. So first things first, open up your favorite web browser and go to www.raidtheorem.com. You don't need the www, but it sounds cooler that way. All right. So go to www.raidtheorem.com. You should get a page that looks a lot like this. Maybe I've updated it since I've made this video, but it should look a lot like this. All right. You can go ahead and read through my mission. That gives a pretty good definition of what this is all about. Um, these three things here, they're just kind of um, brief explanations of of three of the many things you can do. There's uh, like thousands of things you could possibly do with Raid Theorem. It's tremendous. And then there's also a frequent, a frequently asked questions. Um, by the way, when this will when will this be released? By the time you're watching this video, this question will no longer be on here, and it will be released. Um, currently, as I'm making this video, there's a few little things I'm working out, um, but it'll be perfectly fine by the time you see it. So once you've made it to this page, click register. Once you click register, please put in your email, a password, and confirm your password. As you've done that, and you click sign up. As long as you have a valid, if your passwords match, the password's valid, and your um, user or your email is um, also valid and hasn't been used by anybody else or any other accounts, then you can sign up. However, I already have an account, so I'm just going to go and I'm going to log in. After you've logged in, which there we go, all right, you'll be taken to this dashboard. Now, this dashboard is where practically everything happens with Raid Theorem. These three buttons here are basically how it works. But for the sake of this video, we're not going to touch servers or leaderboards. We're only going to go to settings. Now, in this settings, in order to use Raid Theorem, Raid Theorem has to know what your Roblox account ID is so that it knows what places where the model the Raid Theorem model is put in, what places should you be getting data for, and what places should you be able to control. Well, to do that, you'll put in your Roblox user ID. But your user ID, that's not your username, is it? Because 3276148, that's not my Roblox username. So how do you get your Roblox user ID? Well, you go to roblox.com, and if you go to roblox.com, um, and you press profile, and now you click view public profile up here you'll see ID equals and then there will be some number most likely it's going to be higher than my number is in them but that's because I've joined for years and years however the lower the number that the longer you've been on Roblox anyway so take this ID number from this equal sign after ID to this and sign do not include the and sign take all of these numbers right click it and press copy. You can also press control and C simultaneously. Then you'll go over here and I'm actually just going to change this um, to zero so that I have to fix this. Alright, ignore that for a second. Now paste your Roblox user ID into this text box. Uh, you can do that either how I did it by pressing control V or you can right click it and press paste. Now click verify. What this will do is it will probably say, please add the following code to your Roblox account blurb and try again. And then underneath there will be these this weird string of characters that's like, um, how the heck did it come with that, up with that? Well, I want you to select that, right click it, and press copy. Then go back to Roblox, go to account, and your Roblox blurb is right here, your personal blurb. Um, and you can put the code anywhere in this blurb anywhere at all you could put it in between some letters um, you could put it in its own line or anything at all as long as the code is there and there's no letters in between the different letters in your code I'm going to put it at the very bottom 
update. Alright, so now you have your code in your Roblox blurb. Go back to Raid Theorem and press verify again. Your account is now verified. As of this point, you can go back to your blurb and you can remove your code. You will stay verified. It only needs to be there the one time unless you change your Roblox account and then you need to change your Roblox user ID. You can also refer a friend and other things, but I'll go into the settings page much more later on. So now that you've connected your Raid Theorem to your Roblox account, there's still one more step before you can actually start using Raid Theorem. Raid Theorem is a product. It is not just a free service. Um, you do have to pay for it, okay? Um, it's fairly cheap and it's very, very, very useful, especially if you're a group that has people raiding you a lot. Then it's, and especially if you don't like going in game and having to fight people, but you like the strategic side of things, you can control every server from Raid Theorem. You can do anything basically from Raid Theorem if you just make it work. Um, so it's a great idea. You can buy a month of Raid Theorem for $3. You can buy six months for $15 or a year for $25. Heck, there might even be a sale that makes that even cheaper. Um, however, just a note, see how I'm good until February 21st of 2121? Okay, well, if I bought another thing, that one, it switched me down to just one month from today. It, or six months. If I bought six months, it wouldn't just go six months from the day you bought it. No, it would add to this. So if I bought six months, this would be good until 8 slash 21 slash 21 21. If you bought a year, it'd be 2 slash 21 slash 21 22. So this does add on. So you could potentially buy, say, four one-year one plans, and you'd get four years consecutive in a row. Um, it wouldn't just add to the current date. Unless you aren't subscribed at all yet, then yes, it will add to the current date. This is using PayPal, so it's a completely secure transaction, and I don't get any of your credit card info. Um, PayPal does everything. They take the money and send it to me and everything works out great that way it's super safe and I promise there's nothing fraudy about anything okay anyway thank you guys for watching this has been code theorem telling you guys how to set up code theorem or sorry how to set up raid theorem for your Roblox account hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like um, and a comment down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys later